Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. Let's pull your overarching angel card and see what we get Pisces. So what do we have for Pisces please? 19th to the 25th of April 2021. I've got three cards. I've got it's up to you. What else have we got? There's opportunity don't stop <laughs> okay well that's a message for somebody isn't it really uh very exciting so let's see what else we have i'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify go deeper into the message pisces and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you okay message for pisces please temperance in the challenge position Three of Cups and the near future outcome we have the Six of Wands. Nice. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Pisces. Thank you. Message for Pisces. Thank you for the week 19th to the 25th of April 2021. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Pisces? Thank you. Angels, Spirits, Guides. What do we have for Pisces? Thank you. Starting with Temperance, card of Sagittarius. Message for Pisces, please. Okay, Pisces, I've got a couple of cards here. Um, Nine of Wands, the Lovers, oh, the Sun, Page of Cups. Three of Cups we have with the Tower. Six of Wands we have the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck we have the Queen of Swords, card of Libra. Okay, Pisces, interesting. Temperance in the, is generally all about balance and sometimes when it appears in the challenge position, it, it feels in this situation, it feels in the situation you're getting balance back, you know, certainly with the Queen of Swords appearing at the end. So it feels like something that threw you out of balance. There is definitely an opportunity to get balance back in your life. The Nine of Wands is, is, is you're very close, you know. The Nine of Wands is one step away from the Ten. And it feels like you're very close to getting where you want to be. There's perseverance required, but this is about pushing through. Certainly, you know, the, the lover's card can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. Um, when it appears in the challenge position, it can be some disharmony. It feels like there's some release from a, a past relationship here, Pisces. Or you're near to getting release from a past relationship. It feels finding closure. Because the Page of Cups is generally a message of love coming your way. But it feels like it hasn't quite formed yet. So there, there's definitely some kind of opportunity for things to look up. But it doesn't feel like it's quite there yet. It's almost kind of like some of you are, feeling, are going through the process of getting balance back in your life. And you're very close to putting it behind you. It's some kind of something that's happened here. It feels to do with the lovers generally is a harmonious relationship. It can also be a choice in terms of love, romance, relationships. And it feels in this situation, whatever has challenged you in terms of love, you are you're close to putting it behind you and coming through the other side of a situation. And it feels like it's got you down. It's, you know, it's caused instability. But there is the potential opportunity of new love coming your way. 
certainly on the horizon, it just hasn't quite formed yet. And that's what I'm feeling. Because the, the Three of Cups with the Tower, it can be about closure. You know, the Tower is some kind of life-changing event, tearing down of the old. It is something that destabilizes because as soon as that lightning tests that Tower, it comes crumbling down. It wasn't built to stand the test of time. And it paves the way for a new Tower to be built. We, we, we build and tear down many Towers in our lives. And it, it feels in part that this was something beyond your control. But it is an, it is love from the universe in a way, the tower. We look back on tower moments in years, months to come, um, and we realize why things had to happen, you know, because there is definitely an energy of close, closure. The winter is over, the spring is here, you know, with the three of cups. You could have also received some emotional support from friends, family, but it feels there's definitely an energy of finally finding closure and being open to new conversations. And that's what I'm feeling here. Um, towers can be about truth, revelation, rude awakenings. Let's clarify this tower. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, we have the Five of Wands, which can, to, can be to do with conflict, uh, something that goes round and round and round. And it's almost kind of like something happened here that just, it feels, you know, that the Five of Wands can be a card of struggle, tension, conflict. Uh, Gemini can be an issue that just escalates. But it feels that you're turning your back on that now. And that's what the tower is asking you to do, turning your back on it. Because there's something better coming your way. This is about finding closure in a situation. Because Gemini, with the three of wands, your ships are coming in. And there's definitely an energy of there's something good coming your way. It's not quite there yet. And that's what I was feeling here. It hasn't quite formed it hasn't quite played out but it definitely feels in this energy there are new conversations coming your way yeah and you are being told make space for the new you know release the burdens of the past don't hold on to them and interestingly enough the ten of wands is the completion that you were wanting to get to with the nine of wands so i'm definitely feeling that what this tower did it, it's and Spirit is saying it feels in this situation it's, it's making way for some kind of new path for you. Now the Six of Wands, I always love seeing the Six of Wands because it's a card of a victory over a challenge where this person has been driven, they've taken action, they've put their heart and soul into overcoming a challenge and they've discovered their own power in that process. So there's definitely this energy of victory, a, a significant achievement, because you're finally putting the past behind you. Um, you're finally putting the challenge behind you and claiming a victory. So it feels in this situation that whatever challenged you with this tower, you're ready to put, put it behind you. And I always call this card the bring it on card because it's a feel good energy. It's like, right, that is done with. I am ready to be open to open my heart to new love. Now, this can be emotional rebirth, self-love. Uh, but yes, it can be new love coming your way. A new powerful connection could be with a Libra. It's not limited to that. Um, but it certainly feels, Pisces, that this cup is being filled up again. It is a new beginning energy. And something that I felt was forming here. You know, there might be somebody who you're talking to. It just feels like something is forming here. But it's almost kind of like you're just dealing with the process of finishing off the past. However you're doing that. But we have the emotional rebirth and the, in, you know, 
you know, in the not too distant future. Um, and it definitely feels in this energy you're opening up to new love. And it's divinely guided because the universe doesn't just leave you in this tower. The hand of God, the universe, is guiding you towards this new beginning with this tower energy. So it's the card of your being aligned to whatever this Ace of Cups means to you. It's the cup of joy. New happiness, new joy coming into your life. Now, yes, this can be pets, friendships, can be new love. I'm feeling in this energy, it feels very beautiful um, because it just feels like there is definitely new love forming here. Uh, you know, and the Queen of Swords is all about balance, getting some kind of balance back. She's a card of Libra, male or female energy, so you could be dealing with the Libra as well. Not limited to that, clearly. But what I like about this as well, and I like about the imagery, and I'm also picking up on it now as well, I'm getting more information, is you see all the clouds. You see the clouds with the tower that were completely consuming. There is definitely an energy of, oh, look. <laughs> yeah, Ace of Wands, something exciting. Uh, rising above those clouds. Getting the balance back and rising above those clouds now. And <laughs> you can see... There's definitely the, the hand of God, the universe, giving you some new exciting opportunity. Something that's ab absolutely connected to your heart and soul. It could be a new passion, desire here. Uh, attraction with somebody new, there's new chemistry. I feel in this situation, you might have... that. It just feels... I mean, it could be friendship, actually, as well. Somebody who's already in your community or your tribe or your neighbourhood or, you know, call it what you will. Um, your workplace, whatever this is, whatever your community is here. But it definitely feels there's, there's something forming. I'm getting this energy of something forming. And the message is don't stop because it's up to you. This is a real opportunity worth pursuing. Exciting. Okay. So what do we have for Pisces, please? So we have tree wisdom. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. Lovely. Very nice energy, Pisces. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.